Now, let us go to one example, which is a very interesting example. So this is UN, I'm calling UN as a group of nth roots of unity in the complex plane. C is a complex plane. We have to find U2, U3 and U4. Now what is the meaning of U2? Let's go one by one so that this exercise will be clear to you. So what is U2? U2 is group of second root of unity. Means I have that x is nothing but square root of unity. Unity is 1. When I say the third root which is u3 is a group of third roots of unity means I'm going to take cube root of 1 means all such people which are cube root of 1 now this means that x is square root of 1 means x square is equal to 1 and this means that x is equal to plus minus 1. So, the set is 1 and minus 1. So, what are the possible values of x? The possible values of x are 1 and minus 1. Now, what is cube root of 1? This means that x cube minus is equal to 1. This means that x cube minus 1 is equal to 0. And this factorizes as x minus 1 into x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 and what is the solution of this x is equal to 1 and what is x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 I will use the quadratic formula and I will get that the roots x are by quadratic formula minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 upon 2 so I will get 2 roots minus 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 minus 1 minus i root 3 upon 2 okay so this means that what are the possible values of x in that case the possible values are x equal to 1 second is x equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 and third value is minus 1 minus i root 3 upon 2 and all of you know that this means that this is set is 1 this is omega and if you square this omega if you stick the square of this element you will get this element which is 1 omega omega square so this set is u3 right whereas this set was u2 so we have found u2 and u3 now we want to find u4 so for u4 I will write u4 is the group of fourth roots of unity. Fourth roots of unity means x is equal to fourth root of 1. When I put that, when I put this fourth root here, I will get x power 4 is equal to 1. And therefore, I will get that x raised to 4 minus 1 is equal to 0, which will eventually mean that I will factorize this now. So I will get x raised to 2 plus 1 into x raised to 2 minus 1 equal to 0. This will say that x square plus 1 is equal to 0 or x square minus 1 is equal to 0. And this solution of this is x square plus 1 equal to 0 has two roots which is x is equal to i and minus i. And what is the solution of x square minus 1 equal to 0? x is equal to 1 or minus 1. So we get 4 people and that set is u4 which is containing 1 minus 1 i minus i. Right? So u2 was 1 and minus 1, u3 is 1 omega omega square and u4 is 1 minus 1 i minus i. So, the, so we have found out what is u2, u3 and u4. 
Now we want to find in the second part we want to find the generators of u2, u3 and u4. Okay, so let us go for that. So u2 is 1 minus 1. The generator is the generator is of this group with respect to multiplication. Okay, with respect to multiplication is minus 1. Correct? Why? Because minus 1 raised to 0, minus 1 raised to 1 minus 1 raised to 2 these are all the powers of the generator so who is this this is generated by minus 1 okay what will be minus 1 raised to 0 minus 1 raised to 0 will be equal to 1 minus 1 raised to minus 1 is minus 1 raised to 1 is minus 1 1 minus 1 and so on so do you see that this set is 1 and minus 1 which is actually my U2. So who is the generator of U2? Minus 1 will generate complete U2. Now let us look at U3. U3 is 1 omega omega square. So we know that omega cube is always equal to identity so who is the generator of this group now? The generator will be omega. Why? Because if I look at all the powers of omega, am I getting the full set back? These are all the powers of omega. What is omega power 0? Omega power 0 is 1. Omega raised to 1 is omega. Omega square is as it is. What is omega cube? Omega cube is identity. So you will again get all the powers repeated again and again all elements. So this set is nothing but 1 omega omega square. So this means that this set u3 is generated by omega. So omega is the generator. I leave it as an exercise to you people that even omega square will generate the entire u3. Same thing, omega square 0, omega square 1, you will get that omega square is also the generator of this group u3. Now, let us go for u4. u4 contains of 1, minus 1, i and minus i. So, who is the generator of this particular group? So, the person that will generate is I. So the generator is I. Why? Because if I take I, the, gen the subgroup generated by I, it will be I raised to 0, I raised to 1, I square, I cube, I raised to 4, I raised to 5, and so on. I raised to 0 is 1. i raised to 1 is i, i square is minus 1, i cube is, what is i cube? i cube is i square into i, but this is minus 1, and this, will, this is i, so this will be minus i. What is i raised to 4? i raised to 4 is 1, and this story will repeat. So what is my conclusion? That you will get the elements 1, minus 1, i, and minus i which is our u4 so this means that u4 is generated by which element u4 is generated by i and you can again check that u4 is also generated by minus i so u4 has two generators u3 also has two generators okay so the generators of u3, u4 and u2 are done. This finishes our exercise.